um, unfortunately, due to the excessive amount of weather, uh, we had to close back in February. Um, groundwater rose up through the floors of the building and dear old building couldn't cope. And so that was it, we had to close. We wouldn't be here today if it hadn't been for the government grants. Um, they have been absolutely superb. Um, we've worked very closely with Tass Valley Borough Council and uh, we're very, very grateful to them because it's made such a difference. It's made it possible to do it really well. Well, we like to think it's how it was before, but better. Um, the key thing was getting all the bu uh, building dried out. Um, we've had to have new floors, new carpets, so that, that's um, looking good. I'm delighted to have met Caroline Noakes, and she's also um, Vice Chair of the Parliamentary Save the Pub group. Um, she's coming along to cut the ribbon. We're looking forward to serving our first beers. There's going to be some burgers to give away in the garden, and we've got a lady called Carrie coming to entertain us for the evening, singing some good old favourites. Just a very few words. Firstly, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Caroline um, for coming along um, to open the pub again. Uh, Trishy? I'd like to say thank you. Um, and then a huge thank you to everybody who's been involved in making this day happen. Uh, the NFU for their super insurance. Um, we'd like to welcome Alex from Punch Taverns, who uh, own the building. And most of all, I'd like to thank all of you, um, our friends and customers, uh, for your unfailing support and encouragement. Um, anyway, I think that's enough of that. Who wants a drink? Yay! So now I have to compete with the pub landlady to see who's got the loudest voice. Um, I first met Jude uh, probably a couple of months ago in Westminster when she came up to London to talk to me about how important it was that the government supports pubs. And uh, at the time I was very newly elected vice chairman of the parliamentary Save the Pub Group. I regard as probably one of the most important and certainly most fun things that I do in Westminster. Now, I know how tough it was for the staff, for the landlady and landlord, uh, but also for the whole village to have the pub closed for three months. So, massive credit to everyone for sticking with it, working so hard. The floods were hideous for King Songbourne and for a lot of this area. So, it's lovely to see something good come out of it, an insurance company that coughed up, uh, dare I say it, Punch Taverns who have supported it and put a lot of money into making sure that the pub is looking absolutely fantastic. So with no further ado, it's my job to officially declare it open and I pity the first person that gets a pint pulled by me. <laughs>